Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last part, we just kind of messed around here on Cinnabar Island because we didn't know what the heck to do to fill the time limit, and I don't even think we finished the time limit. I might be wrong, but uh, in this part, we're finally going to go take on that hot-headed Blaine fellow who's the gym leader of this place, and uh, he's a fire-type trainer, so I have considered my options based on my team. Uh, and I did a little bit of leveling up. I think I got them all up by one level in between episodes, but that wasn't really all that much. Um, my strategy is I'm going to be using primarily Willow and Pippi. Pippi because obviously he's a water type and we're facing a fire type gem. And Willow, my strategy here is because Willow is a fire type and has the ability Flash Fire, she will be able to absorb any and all fire type attacks thrown at her. And she knows Dig, which is super effective against fire types. So that should prove advantageous, I feel. And uh, yeah, that's, that's basically my strategy. Let's just go on ahead and get it over with because... Well, gosh, you want another gym badge that's going to get us one step closer to finally becoming a Pokemon champion or master or whatever the heck it is. I've forgotten. <laughs> whatever they, whatever your biggest goal is in this game. Our biggest goal is to defeat all the gym leaders and make it to the Elite Four, the Pokemon League, defeat whoever the champion is, and uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Gosh, he's like, he's like freaking bald. How on earth? Okay, anyways, let's uh, save our game here just to make sure that we are prepared because there's always a chance that I will mess up everything because I'm not very good at a lot of things uh, in general. Okay, hello, Blaine. Ha! Hello, that's a creepy way to introduce yourself. I am Blaine, the red hot leader of Cinnabar Gym. Well, I wouldn't say hot. You're kind of bald, aren't you? But then again, you're not asking the right person. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. Oh boy, they incinerate all challengers. Oh, Jesus. Don't, please don't incinerate me or my Pokemon. That would be really bad. I think I could arrest you for that. Ha, you better burn heal. Oh crap, we don't have any burn heals, do we? Ha, we have full heals. Just kidding. We'll be fine. Yay. Oh gosh, look at him! Look at those glasses! He is a nerd. Oh my gosh, it suddenly makes sense! This whole gym is full of nerds! He surrounded himself in nerds on purpose! Because he is a nerd! He wants to feel like he belongs! My gosh! Why does it all make so much sense suddenly? Okay, uh, anyways, let's see here. Growlithe. That's not as high level as I would have suspected, but okay, I think we can take care of this and... Well, not one move. I was about to say one move, but no, we can't. Maybe recoil? Ah, uh, barely any recoil. He's gonna use a healing item. Yeah, I figured. I've kind of learned to accept the fact that gym leaders will do that, and it's very annoying, and I can't do anything about it because it's not fair. Well, actually, it is fair. I mean, it's more fair than most most uh, trainer battles, to be honest. Because they typically do not use healing items, unless they're like those rich people or whatever who you fight. Uh, any, any healing items this time? No? Are you resigned to your fate, Growlithe? It's good to know. It's good to know. Take down, more like I'm gonna take you down! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Oh, that was horrible. Okay, um, let's not worry about horrible attempts at jokes. Uh, you know what, let's just let Willow handle this ponyta. Awesome. Hello, Ponyta. I think I already mentioned that, though. Yeah, I think I did. I probably already mentioned that because <laughs> I I also probably mentioned that Ponyta was probably one of the... F no, it was pretty much the first Pokemon that I used aside from a starter in Pokemon Pearl. I probably already mentioned that. <laughs> really, Blaine? I thought you were, like, the expert on fire types, and yet here you are using a fire type move on a fire type Pokemon. What the heck? not fair! Don't you dare bounce on Willow! Oh, that is not fair. Don't do that to me, Ponyta. I always like to imagine that, like, whenever Ponyta or Rapidash uses bounce, that it's just hovering in the air between turns like some kind of magical unicorn. 
this isn't gonna work. It has a pattern built up, and that pattern is not going to be broken anytime soon. So, we better. Oh, I know what to do! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh, you can't hurt me now! Oh, snap! Okay. Now! Now! We can take this thing down. Sweet! Pippi knows what he's doing for sure. Yeah. If we'd managed to get things done properly back. Oh, I don't want to switch. Um, if we'd actually managed to use dig back there before it used bounce, man, that would have been much better. Okay, surf! Because Rapidash is a much stronger Pokemon. Actually, are they the same level? I can't remember what level the Ponyta was at. I think it was like. No, I don't think it was at 42. I don't remember. Ooh, is this your last one? Arcanine? Okay. This, oh gosh, level 47. Yeah, as its ability clearly shows, this is a very intimidating Pokemon. Let's just, uh, surf through this thing. I don't know, people always say that- holy crap, are you kidding me? Okay, that's a powerful attack. Ha. These could be can take, take things like that like a champ, and you're gonna get a healing item? Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Okay, luckily for us, we have Water Gun. I didn't think I was ever going to have to use that move again, because Surf is far superior, but whatever. Whatever. There we go. But people always say that Arcanine is like a dog Pokemon, and I understand that, but when I was younger, I always used to think it was a tiger. I never once connected it to being like a canine. I thought, I, I would have sworn on my life that it was a tiger. Anyways, I have burned down to nothing, not even ashes remain. You humongous nerd. You've earned a volcano badge. Yeah, I mean, does it look like a tiger, though? It's got, like, black stripes with orange fur. Ha! Is that your thing? You just go, ha? It's kind of unsettling. The volcano badge heightens the special task of your Pokemon. Sweet. Here, you can have this, too. A TM, yay! Is it a cool fire-type move? Fire Blast. Ooh! Fire Blast is the ultimate fire technique. Don't waste it on water Pokemon. I don't think I can. <laughs> can you imagine, like, if I taught Fire Blast to freaking Pippi? And, like, just... Fire came spouting out of his guns. What if? Here's an idea. What if we taught Fire Blast to Willow? I think they would work pretty well. We oh, we could get rid of Ember because Ember's not even powerful, and I hardly even use it. You know, I think we're gonna do that. Let's just do it right now because if I wait for it, I'm probably going to forget. Um, there you are. You see, we can't even use it on Pippi. You know, I, if if I could use it on Pippi, I might just teach it to him for the sake of hilarity, because just to make that joke actually into a reality, maybe. I don't know if it'd be worthwhile, but it'd be funny. You cannot deny that it would be really funny. Sweet, now we have a cool fire type move. Good to know. Um, now, there there should be someone waiting for us outside the gym. Uh, I actually looked into this beforehand. There is a person who's waiting for us outside the gym, and they have plans for us, but I have plans for myself that are much more urgent than that, and I want to do some things now that I've defeated the gym leader. There are a few things that I want to attend to, and I shall get to them as soon as I leave and handle the visitor out there. Uh, Laura, you beat that firebrand. Firebrand? Jeez. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. To call your own gym leader a firebrand like that. Huh? Hey, if it isn't Laura. Oh, hello. Here's our visitor that I mentioned. Look, it's me, Bill. Long time no see. I hope you're still using my PC system. Well, yeah, I don't really have any choice. Well, listen, since we met up here, how about spending time with me? Time with you. Okay. There's this little island in the far south called One Island. A friend invited me, so I'm on my way out there. How about it? Do you feel like coming with me? You know, it'd be great if I said yes. But I know for a fact that if I say yes, I'm not going to be able to come back here for a long time because there's a ton of crap that happens down there. So I'm going to say no. What, are you too busy? Absolutely! You guessed it. Thank you, Bill, for being so understanding. Well, all right. The boat hasn't arrived yet anyway. I'll be waiting in the Pokemon Center over there. Come and see me when you're done with your business here. Thank you, Bill. I, uh... Still haven't forgotten the fact that he freaking turned into a Clefairy. Uh, <laughs> anyways, yeah, we have some stuff to attend to. I'm just gonna leave Bill waiting there. I hope he doesn't mind. He, he probably does. He probably does. Um, anyways, let's heal our Pokemon. 
And uh, now then, I'd like to go on ahead and take care of something. Uh, first, we're going to need to get our flying Pokemon back into our party. Our trusty Sandy. The Spiro. Where are you, Sandy? Oh, here you are, Sandy. Okay, let's just temporarily swap you out with Jackie. Alright, yeah. Now, um... In order to get to where I want to go, I think we need to fly... I should probably tell you what my plan is. Um, my plan is actually to go and catch another legendary Pokemon. Yes, because it is apparently available to us. Uh, let's see. It is specifically... Uh, I'll let you see. You probably already know what it is, but whatever. Um, wait, where do we need to go from here? It would be... Oh, here, here. This is where we're going. Yes, yes. I'm going to have it of snapping my fingers a lot. I'm not very good at it, though. Okay, so I don't believe we need any other HM Pokemon, but I could be wrong, so I might just be making a fool of myself. Um, in the meantime, though, let's go ahead and deposit Sandy and get Jackie back. Um, we can access a new area here now that we have the ability to surf, thanks to Pippi. So we're going to be doing some surfing to get to a very special place. Oh ho ho ho. Yes, mysterious. So yeah, we're out here next to the rock tunnel, that freaking dungeon. Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember, how do you get to this place? There's like some... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yay! It's it's a weird place to go surfing, I know. It's it's unusual, you don't usually get to surf through tiny canals like this. Ah, wild Pokemon! Oh, it's a tentacle. Why would I expect any less? And it's level 8, too. Jeez. It makes it even more pointless in my life. Okay. I believe this is where we go. Are you a trainer? Wow, you came all the way here. Maybe you're a Pokemaniac, too. <laughs> Want to see my collection? Well, I'm kind of a maniac about Pokemon, but not not really. Not, not to the point where I dress up in a freaking cosplay of Charmeleon. It's a Rhyhorn. Hello. Oh, of course. I have a Pokemon. Oh, I can use Dig. Never mind. I'm good. <laughs> I was gonna say if he uses a rock and ground, that means I'm dead. But we're probably not dead actually. Because look at that Rhyhorn's level. Holy crap! It's only level 29. Wow. That's all right. That was a critical hit from you. Holy crap! Wow. I feel bad. I feel really bad because you're just level 29 Pokemon and I've got my Pokemon all at level 47. We're nearly level 50. Look at how far we've come through this game. And then this poor guy's like, we're leaving him in the dust. Make your tongue. Jackie, handle it. You're a fighting type. Ah. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, I love its sprite. It's so cute. Too bad I'm going to have to defeat it. Lickitung is actually an underrated Pokemon in my opinion. Not not really because of its appearance or bat not really battling skills, but more more I just think it's a cool idea. Hump, I'm not angry. Although Licky Licky is poor, poor freaking Licky Licky. I don't know what to tell you about Licky Licky. His tongue is too short. That's all I can say. Power plant. Here's where we wanted to go. The power plant. Yes, this place is actually abandoned, as you can probably see from the creepy picture here. Um, this is a dungeon. We would be encountering more Pokemon in here. And, uh, is that a circuit box? Can I mess with it? No, I can't. Ah, okay, there's that wild Pokemon I was talking about. Oh, specifically, we have a Voltorb to encounter. A lovely electric type. Um, okay, well, to make sure we don't encounter any more of those annoying things, let's use a Repel, because I do not want to deal with Voltorbs right now. Where are my repel items? Yeah, we still have some. I think it'll be okay for the duration of this place. It's not too large. Here's an item! Max potion? Sweet! See, look at this. This place is all abandoned. There's tons of rocks that have fallen in. What is it with, like, abandoned places in this game? Some First, they abandoned the, um... Freaking Pokemon Mansion. I mean, they had good reason to do so. We figured that much out, but... What about this place? What happened to this place? What is so bad about the power plant that made them abandon it? Hey! What the heck? What? Ah, it's an electrode! That wasn't a Pokeball! Oh, that thing lied to me! Ah! 
Maybe we should catch it, just because that'd be cool. Yen, help me, I want to catch this thing. I think we're going to do that, and then we're going to end the episode. But, come on! Like, I don't know, if we can payday, payday, don't knock it out, I want to catch it. Oh yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. We can totally do this. Okay, one more payday, please don't get a critical hit or some crap. Okay, good, good. Oh, now you're gonna use electric type moves. That's not fun. Okay, um, Venus, go on out there and use sleep powder. Plus, I know you can resist electric type moves, so you should be okay. You can, right? Yeah, you can. See, look at that, look at that. Venus is, Venus is doing a good job. She's doing a good job. Okay, sleep powder. Are you kidding me? Freaky. Oh, you. No. Not fair. <sighs> okay. Fine. I'll end the episode here. Um, in the next part, we shall continue exploring the power plant and I guess uncover its mysteries because there is a very cool thing awaiting us in the depths of this place. I will see you peeps then.